Everybody is talking about ChatGPT at the moment, but did you know that you can use GPT-3 to automatically classify your texts and drastically reduce your labeling cost? I'm going to use this today with our GPT-3 classification brick module. Here I have a data set that contains a lot of news articles about business or politics or sports. And I want to build a classification module that can automatically categorize these articles for me. Now, what I could do is I could label all of this data myself, but that would be really tedious. I could also pay someone else to do the labeling for me, but that would be really expensive. And so another alternative to that is to use GPT-3 to automatically label the text data for me. To do that in Refinery, go to the settings page and click on add new attribute. And then search in Bricks for the GPT-3 classifier. Now, as you can see, we also have GPT-3 modules for text summarization or text correction. But today I'm going to use GPT-3 to classify my text data and proceed. And we want to classify our news headlines stored in the headline column. We don't want to classify them by emotional sentence, although we could do that. But today I'm just interested in the news category. We also need to provide an API key, which we can get from OpenAI itself. Or if you are interested in using this in Kern AI Refinery, then reach out to us and we can also provide an API token for you. And you can also see that there are some parameters here that we can tweak. For example, the temperature is determining how creative the GPT-3 model is going to be. If we are writing poems or stories using GPT-3, then we want to increase this parameter. But I'm not interested in creativity, at least not today. And so I'm more interested in accuracy and precision. So I'm going to keep this at zero. Let's finish it up. And our brick module using GPT-3 is now loaded in. And to see if it's actually running correctly, let's run it on 10 random samples and see how GPT-3 would classify our headlines. All right, we have some results loaded in now. This one here is supposed to be about business. Let's check it out. It's about Intel saying it recovers from misstep and that they will miss some cost reduction targets, I would say yes, that's definitely about business. This one here is about sports and it's about the Vikings and they have league history. Yes, Minnesota Vikings. I think that's a sports team. And this one here is supposed to be or is supposed to be about politics. Your cybersecurity chief abruptly resigns. Yeah, it's it's about politics. This one here is supposed to be about weather, storm tracking, US hurricane forecasters say the worst may not yet be over. I would agree that sounds like an article about weather. And so as you can see, it's shockingly easy to really quickly get some labels for your text data using OpenAI's GPT-3. Please keep in mind that this won't work for all of your use cases, but if you just want to quickly get going with your project, this method is really, really good. And that's how easy it is to use our GPT-3 classification module in Refinery. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, then leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss out on any cool content in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.